just now exploring social design with Eiska Tachikawa. He is a design strategist and associate professor at Keio University and the CEO of No Signer. His purpose is to create a beautiful future with social design and structural design knowledge. He has continued to design from a social perspective in order to address pressing social issues. The section will be moderated by Yano Yutaka, founding director at Sky Yutaka. Let's welcome both of them. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining BODW Communication Design Session for Nozaina and Mr. A.S.K. Tachikawa. I am Itaka Yano, Director of Architectural Design Practice, Sky Itaka, based in Hong Kong. Today, we are excited to have Tachikawa-san, uh, who is a design strategist and creative director of Nozaina, a unique design studio based in Yokohama, Japan, whose studio have undertaken impressive body of works tackling social issues in his local area, Yokohama, then Japan, and around the world. His talk, Stay One Tune Apart, Designed to Save Lives, will reflect on his recent project, Panda 8, which have won the Grand Prix Prize of 2020 DFA Awards, and he's also currently taking part in this year's DITO at the PMQ Hong Kong Central. Tachikawa-san, uh, Thank you very much for uh, participating in BODW. Thank you very much. I am very happy to be participating. Design to save lives. I, well, I expect to have a very nice chat with you today. Well, uh, first, uh, please uh, have your presentation. Can I start now? Yes, yes, you go ahead. Hi. Yes. Uh, thank you very much for everybody. Uh, for this invitation, uh, even that this this quite hardest situation. Uh, thank you so much for BODW team for inviting us and having a hold in this event. Uh, uh, today's event is supposed to be translated in four languages. So yeah, today I will speak in Japanese. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the team of BODW. Now, I would like to start my presentation today. Well, I think some of the listeners are uh, first time uh, knowing us. So, Nozaina, uh, this is uh, in a broad term, it is a design office. Well, we have really diverse problems we deal with, and then we deal with it with the design. And then also, we activate the streets and so on, and then science, communication. So we handle really a variety of things. But this year, really, I think all of the listeners are well uh, because of the coronavirus, and then uh, this is nearly a pandemic, and this is very difficult for everybody. The, uh, how you think? This is a diamond princess, the ship. Uh, this uh, ship uh, was, uh, came to the Yokohama where I live. Uh, so well, we took this picture. Well, we have to see this diamond princess every day. Actually, uh, uh, Yokohama has the biggest Chinatown. Of course, you cannot compare with the real ch uh, Chinese cities, uh, but this is outside China, it is the biggest Chinatown in Yokohama. And well, uh, I also like to eat uh, one of the restaurants, and then uh, fortunately, uh, my favorite Chinese restaurant had to go bankrupt because of the, uh, the, the pandemic. So this is very difficult time. So I thought that I have to do something about this. So this is really voluntarily, we started something to help. So this is the project we handled. Well, this is really invisible. That is the problem for us, isn't it? And you don't know where it is and who, who is infected. And well, this is similar to the influenza, uh, but then you, you, this is more deadly. Well, if you are infected, one out of 100 has to die. So that is really a terrible disease. And this is really pandemic, uh, it affects all the country. 
1.4 million people are affected. So we thought we had to do something. It's not because of money or anything. Well, we voluntarily really started to do something about this pandemic, and then we started this project. What it is is that well, this is also translated to many languages. This is a new coronavirus. Coronavirus. So, well, we thought that we have to converge all the information into one. And also, everybody can contribute. So, we really ask many volunteers and then ask anyone uh, to uh, really submit uh, their view or their information. Um, registered people are 300. Out of 300, 10 people are doctors, medical doctors, and also editors, translators, designers. So there are many people from all walks of life. And this is the website uh, we uh, started, and uh, we uh, built this website. So we are handling the social distance. Well, these words, now we are aware of this word. Uh, but then if you look, look back, uh, this spring, this year, we didn't know those words. And then we didn't even know if the mask is really effective or not. So really, information was not enough at that time. So I think before uh, it was uh, mask is uh, for protecting yourself. But then later on, people realized that you are putting the mask to protect other people. So if you look at this from Hong Kong, I think you can access this website. So if you are interested, please access uh, this website. At the moment, we have English version. We have uh, Chinese, uh, both complicated and simple one. And they also uh, uh, Japanese version, because uh, we have a lot of Japanese contributors. So uh, you know, this is a number of languages uh, we, we can uh, deal with. When we had a Great East Japan earthquake, uh, we set up similar website. So at that time, so in a sense, I think uh, it's very similar uh, to the system uh, we uh, we had for the East Japan earthquake. So the FA uh, gave us the award for this. So we really appreciate. Now let's look at this. Well, we have various infographic here. This is about social distancing. Well, people were not very much aware of social distancing, so we made it very simple by showing them. And this is more enjoyable. And well, so if you have one tuna apart, you are safe. Okay, so that is the case. So. It's a communication, but you need something. It's not just light, but you have to have some uh, some attractiveness so that people enjoy it. So how can people enjoy by looking at this? So we came up a lot of ideas. We also came up with the Hong Kong version. I think we don't have it today's slide. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't bring it this time. Uh, but we do have Hong Kong version as well. Very unfortunate. We have a Bruce Lee version, Hong Kong travel version. So we have two versions for Hong Kong. So if you go to the Tour website, you may be able to look at it. I'm, I, I should really thought about it. I'm sorry. And if you look at this, the, that uh, poster uh, was adapted, but then this is the face shield. Uh, can you see this? I hope you can see the uh, video. This is A4 clear document folder. And then just one piece, you can make a very nice face shield. So this uh, really uh, was adapted uh, by many countries as well. 
Can you see it? Yes, yes, you can see it. Yes. Okay, so you use scissors, cut it off. Well, actually, you can make it in 30 seconds. So, clear folder will become face shield in 30 seconds. So, you have to select a good document folder. And then, very simple. And this idea, this face shield, actually, Well, uh, at certain point, some time, uh, there was no mask. So there is a Kitazato University in Japan. Uh, they also uh, produce 10,000 pieces of this face shield and Yahoo Japan. Uh, because of the order of the president, they had a team uh, to come to uh, produce this face shield. So we used the laser cutter, and then we had 8,000 pieces, and then they distributed to the medical institution in Japan. Nowadays, I think it is easy to get the face shield, but there was a certain period of time Japan was short of any kind of uh, face protection. So you can download this if you go to the website. So oh, we have this. Uh, so you can get the information, so please uh, try to make it by yourself. Well, I had I had a cough now, but if you cough, actually droplet will, uh, will spread to five meters away. So actually this droplet uh, will go f even farther than you think. So we have to be very careful. So there are many ways to infect people uh, by direct contact and then by droplet. So this time, well, uh, contact, contact is not that difficult because uh, the droplet is the biggest problem. Uh, this is uh, really uh, a huge problem. If you talk, then you can you cannot see it, uh, but there are b various droplets. So in order to prevent it, you need a mask. So this is the infographic about that. This is the uh, nature of the coronavirus. Uh, so what kind of surface uh, the coronavirus can uh, survive? For the copper, is four hours. Uh, plastic, though, they can uh, survive two to three days. Of course, number of uh, virus will reduce, but still uh, they survive. Uh, but then. Uh, you know, if uh, there are many droplets, uh, people talk, and then there are a lot of droplets, then you have to really wipe quite often. So this is the manual for the disinfection. Now let's look at this. Uh, this is the symptoms checklist. Well, we have many versions, many language versions. I think about 10 languages we have, uh, because people really are, you know, not sure. And even they don't know where they should communicate, they, where, whom they should talk to. That's why we came up with this idea of a poster. Now, also, you have to enjoy social distancing. This is what we came up with. OK, let me explain first. This is the uh, sticker for social distance. So if you step on it, uh, there will be a noise. There will be a sound, OK? And then uh, what I want to do is that uh, social distancing is really, uh, you know, you have a constraint. You, you are told not to do this, right? So it's not a very present situation. And then why don't we enjoy it? Why don't you make it more joyful? That's the idea. Well, this is the same. As you can see, this is really a music hall. So this is, this is the front entrance of, of that. If you press it, then there will be a melody. And so you can have a you know, concert there by stepping on it. 
So what it means is that uh, we, for some time, we really have to coexist with coronavirus. Then, uh, well, how can we really think about it positively? So this is the idea we came up with. Well, I would like to talk about the uh, pandemics. Well, there are always challenging times. Um, well, there was a war, there was a pandemic before. The, then what happens is that people become more creative. Okay, so look at this Boho House. Boho House. This was in 1919 in Weimar in Germany. Okay? This is really the, uh, the top of the design art. This is really the center of that for the center of culture. So this is really Bauhaus is the icon at that time. Then before that, uh, what happened is the Spain flu, Spanish flu. Uh, this uh, was really infected. 30 million people had died because of this, this Spanish flu. So. When there is a challenging situation, people will try to overcome it by creativity. I'm sure Hong Kong went through difficult times, difficult challenges. Uh, but then what such challenges happen, people become creative. Well, let's look at this. This is infographic. This is uh, 1938. So. This really very similar to infographic of the coronavirus. Actually, this was a tuberculosis. Otto Erland uh, prepared this. If you look at this, you can t you can tell the designers always were involved in this pandemic or prevention of uh, infection. We have been doing this, so. Now, this doesn't mean that we are unique. Well, designer has always been involved in this. So that is the job of the designer as well. So we have to really be creative, and then we have to protect ourselves, and then also we have to make sure that our future will be going to the right direction. Well, currently, the world is really under confusion. So I think as a creator, uh, this is what demanded from us. Well, soon 2020 will, fin will end, and the pandemic is uh, getting worse. Uh, but then I think together we, with, with collective wisdom and uh, power, I think we can overcome this. In Japan, too, we have a large number of uh, infections. But uh, but is this really a very negative? I think this is also an opportunity for us to transform ourselves, our society. So uh, let's cooperate together. And uh, everybody listening to me, uh, please be careful. Uh, please uh, be safe. So this is the Panda 8. So if you are interested, please access it. This is a QR code in English version, uh, but you can also find the Chinese version. Thank you very much, Mr. Tachikawa. As for this uh, Panda 8, through design, you save lives. I think this is not just started now. Designer has been doing that. I think that is a very valuable message. Thank you very much for your message. This morning, I myself yeah, came up with this. I tried it by myself. Well, this is a, a, a bit big one. <laughs> so this is uh, really good. I don't have much time, so I would like to go to question right away. I think some audience will have a question as well, uh, but let me just ask one first question. Well, the theme of BOW this year, Vision 2021, is about finding clarity in uncertainty through design. So 
Mr. Tachikawa, you just mentioned that uh, you know you are not the one who started it. Designer has been doing that, but of course, technology is changing. The technology we have is totally different from the Spanish flu era. So, through Pandaid, well, can we change the world for better? So the uh, people watching this for the BODW. What, do you have any important message for the uh, viewers? Yes, there is. Yes, I have. Well, this time, coronavirus is very different. Well, I'm in Yokohama now, but then I'm talking to Hong Kong. So I think this is very different. So, of course, you know, we can connect with everybody. Well, of course, you know, you may say that we are closed off, but actually now we can connect everybody in the world. So we can come up with this uh, community. We can create the community. I think that is the hope for our future. So this is not the uh, border crossing. So this is a different way of uh, uh, you know, different community. So you have a commun community, and then you communicate within that uh, community. So we can do that with other world. So, well, we can overcome the distance, and we can connect with other people, and we can cooperate. So I think this is the a bit different from the uh, past pandemic. Now we, we have this. So I think Pand Aid is really taking advantage of this technology, right? People who never knew each other before, uh, but then uh, they try to cooperate and then to try to be creative together. So I think this is totally different. And a lot of people are doing it. And, uh, you know, people are saying, okay, let's do it together. And for that matter, there is a rule how to cooperate. And then we can also expand, not only just one place, but we can expand. By doing so, I think the world is smaller. So small world network is the idea here. So we can cross the boundary. And also, so there is a cluster, then the world will get smaller. So I think, well, cluster I'm saying is not a physical one. It, it can exist in the virtual space as well. Okay, so you are using the current latest technology and then uh, connect, connect, connect together. That is a very good thing. Thank you. Okay. Panda Aid, question about Panda Aid. Panda Aid is collaboration. How, how this uh, new information can be submitted, shown in the Panda Aid? Well, OK, that is a very good question. I think we are very careful about that area. We are focusing on that. Panda Aid, actually, is uh, well, this is, you know, sending information such as infographic, but as for science, uh, we are not the primary information spreader, right? So, well, what we do is uh, we will go to the source. We have to check the source. So we have to really check uh, the uh, information, authenticity of information. There may be a lot of information, but then we have to go to the source of such information. That is important. And uh, we should uh, use design so that uh, such information will not be misunderstood. As I said, we have ten, about 10 doctors. Uh, they could be uh, clinical scientists. And also, they may be the CEO of the um, disinfectant uh, solution. So they are, of course, you know, very professional. So I think this is very useful. 
So these are the people who can check the information, OK? Of course, this is not perfect. Although it's not perfect, uh, but then I think uh, this is uh, correct. This is uh, right information. And we'll, this information will not be misunderstood. So that's what we are focusing on. So you are, you are doing the research and check the information. And then you have a team member who is familiar or specialist in that area, right? Yes, that is correct. Well, of course, we have to have a proper person to the appropriate uh, area. So, so the best is, uh, you know, uh, the, in the case of Pandaid, well, everybody, anybody can uh, be a volunteer. Uh, but then we have a meeting, and then in the meeting, uh, people will declare what they do usually and then what they are good at. So some people are just doing the translation. Some people are just specialists in lighting. So I think uh, collaboration is uh, doing, uh, going much better than we expected. So you conducted various projects. So you are based in that, those experience, right? I'm sorry we have a, a time now. Uh, thank you very much for sharing uh, your thoughts. So uh, we continue to celebrate from Hong Kong. Uh, me too. I really wanted to visit Hong Kong. I'm looking forward to meeting my many friends in Hong Kong. I wish I could have been to Hong Kong this year. Well, please come next time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the talk. And please also come, come back again here for the remaining talks. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.